Hi Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what did your love interest think about you before they went to sleep last night. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 5th of June, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 1.27 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to find it guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, your love interest. What did they think about Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn last night before they went to sleep? Nine of Pentacles and one first at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Your love interest. Okay, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed. Because we've got the Emperor and then we've got the Empress here, but it's in one first. So, your person, your love interest. Thought about how it may not be equal how they may want to step up how they may really really want you with the six of wands here the, your love interest wants victory with you but they're not sure if you feel exactly the same way and because the empress is in love first i'm sensing the empress could be you but then it could go vice versa four of cups here is in love first so they don't want you to be a missed opportunity, nano source. They actually believe that you both of you are perfect for each other, but I think they're not sure if you feel the same way. Okay. When it's in reverse, maybe there is a delay. Um either one of you is not ready. So they could be thinking as though you were not ready, but they are ready but they are re ready unless it's vice versa three of wands they long for you okay if this is a long distance relationship if recently somebody has traveled or is going to travel something about distance if that's the case your love interest possibly was thinking okay i want to see earth signs again but if both of us are apart from each other for too long, will I lose them for some, will I lose them to someone else or will I lose them because of the distance, okay? Unless if both of you are kind of separated right now, if both of you are going through some issues, then your person may be thinking, will I lose Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn? to someone else or will I lose them because of the situation that both of you could be facing right now or the issues both of you could be facing right now okay so it could be this or that just take what resonates with you strength in reverse ace of cups high persons here is in one verse they are paranoid <laughs> they could be thinking like oh, I'm afraid yeah, they're paranoid. High precision and strength in reverse. I feel like they don't have like a firm grip on you. And I think this fear could be because they love you, they care about you, or that they're starting to have these new romantic feelings for you. Or their feelings for you have gotten deeper, okay? Alright, let's see more. Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. A 
They were thinking about conversations both of you have had with each other, okay? What you've said, what they've said. And then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Wands, Four Swords in reverse. They've been thinking about the future, but they're not sure about the future because they feel like you, you with the Empress here in reverse, maybe you are not on the same page as they are, or that maybe you're not quite there yet, okay? They are up there and on that level where they feel like they want to be responsible, they want you six of wands, they feel like they have, con like they want to con conquer you. There's a sense of achievement. Um, maybe they want to achieve something more with you, okay? We've got the Eight of Swords here in our first. Five of Cups in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. I think because of you, they're starting to release somebody from their past. If they're still kind of hung up with someone from their past, they could have been thinking about that person from their past as well. But they're slowly recovering through the Swords in reverse, slowly getting over the person, their person from the past. Because Five of Cups here in reverse indicates them starting to feel much more positive and starting to feel much more hopeful about the future with you. Page of Cups here. Yeah. This page is young, so new feelings that they have developed for you. Maybe there was someone that they were kind of focused on at one point, like in the past, or they were committed to. It didn't work out. So the page of wands is like this energy where they feel hopeful, looking forward for the future with you. Because page of, uh, ace of cups is also a new sense of feeling. Four swords in reverse. They definitely thought a lot about you last night before they went to sleep. Hmm. But they're worried about something. Like, will you, will you feel the same way for them? The Empress in reverse and the Emperor in an upright position. Because they're ready. They're looking forward to it. Looking forward for this connection to start. Looking forward to feel a certain way for you, which is positive. Like, they're ready to grow. But they're not sure if you're ready to grow. Maybe it's you who's paranoid, right? They hit high persistence in reverse. They could be thinking that you're paranoid about taking this connection to the next level. But they are ready. One second, please. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not feeling 100% well. <laughs> Give me one second, please. Yeah. So they were thinking, hey, potentially this connection could grow into something more. It does, look like, it does look like they really want this Six of Wands. Let's pull a few of these Romance Angels. soon it is safe for you to love true love pay attention to the red flags make the effort honeymoon okay so last night before your love interest went to sleep they may have looked out for some red flags because you know both of you had these conversations, remember the six of wands right here. So they may have been, you know, just being extra careful, I would say. Uh, especially this, if this connection is kind of new within one year. They want to make sure that it is safe for them to love you. But they can't help it though. They have already started to have feelings for you for sure. But they still want to be careful, that's what I'm seeing here. And honeymoon, um, maybe this is kind of new. That's what I'm seeing here for a lot of you. But if this is someone 
from your past. They definitely feel like you're a missed opportunity, right? Four of Cups, yes, and one first. They feel like you're not nurturing them, not nurturing this connection anymore. And that of sorts, they could be worrying about that, okay? But I'm sensing for a lot of you, this could be someone new. Make the effort. They're thinking about how they can put in more effort in order for this love to grow, for this connection to grow, for you to have faith towards them, uh, for them to like six of wands, to achieve something with you, which is something good, I feel. So your person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be a Pisces. Doesn't matter, it can be any sign, Leo, again, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They definitely think about the future, but at the same time, they, they could be thinking about, okay, can I really fully commit? As in, I do see them wanting to commit, but... They're not sure if you are committed, if you want to commit, okay? They think you could be the one for them. You could be the true love very soon. This is that energy where they want to see you very soon, longing for you kind of thing, three of wands. They could be thinking that their feelings for you just grew very quickly as well. Hmm. All right. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. This is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. And feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my tra uh, travel channel. If you'd like to be notified every time when I go, um, when I go live and whenever I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.